Are you wanting to change your 16 by nine video to a four by three format to give a more vintage look for your video? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to make that happen. Hey everyone, Camber here showing you how to use your camera to make good videos and the four by three aspect ratio was standard for television and a lot of movies up until the early 2000s when 16 by nine became the new standard for television and 21 by nine was more common for movies. And because four by three is seen as a more vintage type aspect ratio, using it can give your video somewhat of an old time feel, similar to how WandaVision used multiple aspect ratios depending on the time period of the show. We see four by three for the episodes that were in the 50s through the 80s, followed by the use of 16 by nine from the 90s on, and then finally 21 by nine for the settings that were outside of the TV sitcom world in the show. And I made a whole nother video on how each of those aspect ratios enhance the story with how they are used. So be sure to check that out if you wanna get some ideas on how using changing aspect ratios can improve your storytelling. And I've even used the four by three aspect ratio for one of my videos when I wanted to get that older home video type of vibe. But regardless of why you wanna use the four by three aspect ratio for your videos, let's look at how to make this happen. Now, the first thing to be aware of is that most cameras only give you the option to shoot your video in the 16 by nine format. So because of this, when you're shooting, you gotta keep in mind that a lot of your picture is gonna be cut off on the left and right, so you'll need to frame your shots accordingly. Some cameras like the Sony a7S III give you the option of overlaying cropping lines so that you'll have a visual aid for framing your shots with this in mind. So let me know what kind of camera you're using and if it has this option. But another trick you can use is to simply put some small strips of tape over your screen to get the same effect. And you can also record using an external monitor, and most monitors have an option to overlay a safety area for your footage. But once you've recorded your video, now you have to actually use your editing software to format it to the four x three aspect ratio. And there are two ways of accomplishing this by either setting the actual four x three dimensions of your project or by simply overlaying a four x three ratio pillar box on top of a 16 by nine project. And I'm gonna show you how to do both of these. So let's start with setting the actual four x three ratio dimensions. If we're looking at full HD footage, you'll see that the dimensions are 1920 by 1080. If you divide 1080 by nine, you'll get 120. Then multiply that by 16 to get 1920. So the aspect ratio of that 1920 by 1080 footage is 16 by nine. Does that make sense? Let me know if you're still with me so far by leaving a thumbs up in the comments. So for four by three, instead, we're gonna divide the vertical pixels of 1080 by three to get 360, which we then multiply by four to get the horizontal dimensions of 1440. So setting up your project like this, you'll end up with custom dimensions of 1440 by 1080 to have a four by three aspect ratio. Then once you input your footage into the timeline, you'll just set the spatial conform to fill and then frame the horizontal portion how you want for your video. I'm using Final Cut Pro X, but if your software doesn't have this spatial conform option, just increase the scale of your footage until it takes up the entire screen and then adjust your horizontal placement as desired. And this same math problem works for 4K or any other video resolution, but to save some time, here's a list of the custom dimensions that I also have down in the description, which will give you that four x three aspect ratio using this technique for various resolutions. So then when you export and watch your four x three ratio video on a 16 by nine screen, those black bars will automatically be added to the left and right sides of the screen of your video. But if you're wanting to use changing aspect ratios, similar to how WandaVision went from 21 by nine, four by three to 16 by nine, all in the same episode, you'll want your project to be in a 16 by nine format and then just overlay those four by three ratio pillar boxes on top of the 16 by nine footage. And I have a link down in the description for the website that I use to download all these pillar box templates. And once you have them downloaded, you simply choose which overlay you want and for the four by three aspect ratio, I'm using the 133 to one silent film option and dropping it over top of the video clips. But one very important thing to note is to make sure that you use the pillar box template that matches the video resolution of your project, because if you overlay the 133 to one 1080p template over top of footage in a 4K timeline, it won't completely cover it and you'll have a small slither of pixels that you'll be able to see through the top, bottom, and outer sides of the screen. And those are the two ways of converting your six 
16 by nine foot is to a four by three aspect ratio. If you have any questions about this process, post them in the comments. I'll try to help you out the best I can. And feel free to join my private Facebook group, also linked in the description, where I can better help you out on your filmmaking journey. If you made it this far, then please help me out by hitting a like, subscribe if you're new, and watch some more videos. Just watch a ton, and be sure to watch them all the way through, because it does make a huge difference, all right? And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.